Hey everybody, it's Pastor Ryan, the roving giant here. I got my wife Casey with me. It is my birthday, and we are going on a hike in the Adirondacks. We're going to uh, Silver Lake, um, hiking on the Northville Lake Placid Trail. This is going to be a great overnight hike, and uh, yeah, we're just getting the last of our stuff situated, and we're going to hit the trail. So. so here's the trail that we're going to hike. We are going to make it from this parking spot here in Upper Benson. We're going to make our way all the way up along the trail. Our first main stop for lunch is probably about 10 o'clock now, a little before 10. Our first main stop is going to be at Rock Lake here. Um, and we'll stop there, might do a little fishing, Casey do a little reading, have lunch, and then work our way, continue along the trail, go past Miko Lake all the way to Silver Lake and camp there for the night, and then come back out the same way we came in the next morning. distance and I'm curious if you'll be able to hear them. Of course nothing. Stage fright. Stage fright. Yep. But we've been uh, greeted by all the critters already. We saw a toad and uh, Saw some squirrels and hearing the owls in the distance. It's, I'm thinking this is going to be a, a crittery trip, so it'll be cool. <laughs> it seems like there's been a bit of logging happening around here on this private property before we get up into the. I think the first batch we get into here is the Silver Lake Wilderness, so. We'll let you know when we get to that wilderness patch, but I thought I'd show you the logging. If you're hiking here, you can know you're in the right area, even though it, there's tons of posted signs around and stuff, but it all has the easement for the Northville Lake Placid Trail. It's been a, a muddy trail so far for Casey and I, but we, uh, I was reading the DEC weekly bulletin and to be sure when you're out on the trails like this, I know you don't want to get your feet wet because it's icky and stuff like that, but uh, walk through the mud. Don't walk around it because when you walk around the mud, the trail just gets wider and wider and it's ruining more and more habitat and we want this to be a nice beautiful wilderness. So. Uh, like hitting Casey with my poles <laughs> back here like <laughs> but yeah walk walk through the mud not around it so that we can keep the trails nice and pristine we have made it to our first checkpoint uh, we we did the first 1.3 miles and now we've made it to where there's a nice big open space all, all you tent campers would love this but there's a nice little fire pit next to two trees for us hammock folks there's a uh, outhouse back here in the woods nice little fire pit here and uh and then the river just running right by it's really pretty let's go step out onto it a little bit
just made it to the first river crossing. And here is our trail signs. We are, our next stop, and hopefully we'll be having lunch, is at Rock Lake up there. And then eventually making it to the Silver Lake Lean To. But we'll see the, the camp spot over there by the, um, by the falls and the pond, or falls in the pond. The falls and the bridge was a beautiful spot, so we may just come back to that and camp there, but uh, we'll see how we go. We got two and a half miles till our next major checkpoint, but we'll keep you posted as we go. Casey and I were hiking along and we came across this tree that I honestly, I, I first looked at it and I thought it was a, a, a big beech tree because they grow pretty big. This is a, a birch. Look at the size of this thing. It just keeps going and going. It's like, and this, this is a, I think that's a yellow, like a, not either yellow birch or a river birch, but man, look at the size of that. Uh, trunk, that is a massive tree. That is really cool. Rock Lake and now we're just going to go the 0.1 miles down to the lake itself and if there's a nice little spot we'll set up have our lunch maybe do a little fishing relaxing and then uh, consider the next steps. So today we are trying the backpackers pantry meals for lunch we got the three sisters stew which has squash and it looks all super legit brown rice and then we got Louisiana red beans and rice and uh, that has uh, it says it's a, a Monday favorite now available anytime <laughs> so we'll see how these these guys taste while Casey does all the water I got to do the cooking and now I get to relax I guess because my birthday <laughs> so our meals are delicious but man, <laughs> black flies are driving us crazy. Tell them about it, Case. Yeah, it's bad. <laughs> so, Casey and I are here at uh, Rock Lake. We just finished our meal. These black flies are just more than it's worth it for. So, we're gonna head back. The black flies weren't as bad back at the. Uh, back at the bridge so we're gonna swing back to the bridge and see what things look like there and if they're still as bad if it's just they came out because the sun got a little bit clouded and it, depending on what the conditions are we may uh, just head in for the night and do a little fishing on the sack and dog at my folks place but um, either way this has been a wonderful hike so we'll keep you posted as we go if we see anything interesting ah, black fly see everywhere <sighs> it's crazy <laughs> so <laughs> we will uh we'll keep you posted. Uh, black flies have not gotten any better, so we are going to leave the little waterfall and the bridge and uh make our way back to the truck. It's about having fun. And it is not fun when every breath you take, every move you make, <laughs> it is full of flies.
Cool.